二零一五年嘅第四条题目就系讲血型嘅。咁啊 ，Roger 咧，原来佢可以捐血俾任何同佢唔同血型嘅人，但系啦，佢就唔能够去接收由佢父母捐俾佢嘅血。佢父母嘅血型咧，分别就系老豆系 A 型血，阿妈就系 B 型血啦。咁 Part A 就問啦，咁究竟 Roger 嘅血型係乜嘢呢？」咁其實呢條題目呢，要考我哋嘅就係喺捐血嘅時候，我哋要選擇一啲兼容嘅血型。咩叫兼容嘅血型呢？咁啊，温一温書先啦。咁啊喺 A 型血、B 型血、AB 型血同埋 O 型血，咁究竟佢係咩型血呢？建基於佢個紅血球嘅細胞膜嘅表面，究竟有啲咩嘅抗原啦 ？A 型血就有抗原 A，B 型血就有抗原 B。A、B 型血就兩款抗原都有曬，而 O 型血就係冇任何嘅抗原啦。而我哋發現啦 ，Roger 係一個全息供血者，題目講噶嘛，佢可以捐俾任何同佢唔同血型嘅人，亦即係暗示咗喺佢個紅血球嘅細胞膜表面係冇任何嘅抗原。而咩叫兼容啊？就係、是、當 O 型血嘅紅血球入咗去 A 型血、B 型血、AB 型血嘅人嘅體內咧，係唔會刺激到喺個血漿入面嘅抗體 B。或者抗體 A 嘅反應嘅，呢、这個就叫做全息供血者。而 Part B 咧就俾咗啲符號我哋先，就好似我哋遺傳圖嗰啲咧，大街 I 能夠 A， 大街 I 能夠 B， 同埋細街 I， 就係代表住咧呢個係個等位基因，係令到我哋紅血球嘅表面係有抗原 A 啦，或者抗原 B 啦，或者係冇任何嘅抗原嘅。第一 part 就問啦，用翻呢啲符號去講一講 Roger 嘅基因型。第二咧就問下佢嘅父母嘅基因型啦。咁呢個題目其實考緊我哋嘅呢，就係有關於多等位基因同埋等顯性嘅概念。點解佢係多等位基因？因為呢度啦係有三個嘅等位基因，大街 I 能夠 A， 大街 I 能夠 B 同埋細街 I。而等顯性就係講緊啦，大街 I 能夠 A， 大街 I 能夠 B 呢，佢哋係共同嘅顯性。細街 I 呢，相比呢兩個等位基因呢，就係屬於隱性。所以呢個題目其實都好直白㗎啦，已經。Roger 係 O 型血，自不然佢嘅基因型就係純合隱性，世界世界 I。嗱，留意一下啦，你答世界世界 I 咧就已經得噶啦。純合隱性係我提你嘅啫。咁知道咗 Roger 啦，啊咁佢阿爸阿媽又如何呢？咁我哋就要去温翻書啦，就係、是、孟德爾第一定律、芬尼定律，就係、是、講父母親嘅等位基因，由於係一對對嘅出現。而當佢哋製造配子嘅時候咧，而呢一對嘅等位基因就會分離，去到其中一粒嘅配子嗰樹。所以我哋可以肯定嘅就係、是、阿爸阿媽佢哋一定有一個世界 I 嘅等位基因。咁另一個等位基因係乜嘢呢？就要睇翻佢哋各自嘅血型咯。阿爸係 A 型血，即係大街 I 能夠 A 配個世界 I 就係集合型。而阿媽係 B 型血，所以就係、是。大街 I 能夠 B 能夠細街 I， 佢哋各自都係有機會製造一個配子，係有細街 I 嘅呢個等位基因。而呢兩個配子結合，咪就係 Roger 咯。佢哋自己亦都保有咗一個大街 I 能夠 A 或者 B 嘅等位基因。而呢兩個等位基因係顯性，所以父親就係 A 型血，母親就係 B 型血啦。跟住啦，去到 Part C 就要我哋去解釋一下點解 Roger 係唔能夠。去接收佢父母所俾佢嘅血液啦。根據翻 A part， 我哋會知道啦 ，Roger 係一個全息供血者，但係佢亦都只能夠去接受 O 型血嘅人捐俾佢嘅血啦。因為喺 Roger 嘅血漿入面，佢係有齊曬對付抗原 A 同埋抗原 B 嘅抗體嘅。咁所以我哋就會知道，當佢個身體嘅抗體接觸到由身體以外所嚟嘅抗原 A。同埋抗原 B 嘅时候，佢就会有一个抗体嘅反应。咁抗体如何对付抗原呢？咁我哋喺书本咧学咗三个方法嘅。第一个系溶菌啦，第二个系凝集，第三个就系中和毒素。但系今次呢三个答案系咪都可以攞嚟答呢一条有关于 Roger 唔能够接受佢父母亲嘅血液嘅题目呢？并不是，因为我哋要识得筛选啦。咁呢个题目啦，第一我哋就要讲翻喺 Roger 嘅血入面系有。對付抗原 A 同埋抗原 B 嘅抗體，而點解佢會接收啲抗原啊？就係、是、因為佢阿爸阿媽嘅紅血球表面就有抗原 A 同埋抗原 B 啦。如果真係捐咗血俾佢嘅時候，就大件事啦。佢係有機會導致到溶血反應，個反應就有如溶菌一樣啦。就係、是、當啲抗體
黐咗落去个抗原之后，就会引起一连串嘅化学反应，就会将个红血球整烂咗佢。你红血球爆开咗嘅话咧，呢、这个就叫溶血反应，因为啲血红素就会漏咗出嚟，亦即系话进入 Roger 身体入面嘅红血球都会俾你整爆晒，即系话捐咗等于冇捐。呢、这个情况都唔系最坏啊，最坏嘅系第二个，就系、是、血球结塊。亦都等同於我哋嘅迎集啦 ，agglutination。咁當然今次 agglutination 呢，就唔係為咗個 f i c a l 勢去做嘅，純粹將啲血球呢去結合成為一塊。呢、这個情況點解咁嚴重啊？係因為血球結塊嘅時候呢，就會引起血管嘅閉塞。咁 Roger 呢，都空多吉少啦。好，咁而家啦有少少 concept 呢，想同大家搞清少少嘅。第一，不兼容嘅血型輸血所導致到嘅抗原抗體反應呢。其实系一个特殊性嘅免疫反应。第二啦，虽然佢系一个特殊嘅免疫反应，但系不兼容嘅血型输血系并不会导致有记忆細胞嘅产生嘅。个身体系已经有对付抗原 A 嘅抗体同埋对付抗原 B 嘅抗体。免疫反应并不等于初次嘅免疫反应。第三，红血球嘅结塊并不等于凝血。凝血系牵涉咗一啲溶于水嘅蛋白质变成非水溶性所结成嘅一个网，就将红血球、白血球同埋血小板去将佢哋 trap 住咗，去形成咗一个凝血块或者我哋所讲嘅血栓。咁呢一个系攞嚟防止我哋过量嘅出血，但系而家你系输血啊嘛，你唔系出血啊嘛，咁所以啦，呢三个 concept 咧，大家要搞得清啦。好，跟住啦，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次嘅题目呢，就由血型呢所引起嘅。而题目考我哋两样嘢，第一就係基础遗传學，第二就係身体防卫机制。而当中所牵涉嘅日常生活例子就係输血啦。喺基础遗传學，今次嘅题目要考我哋嘅就係多等位基因啦、等显性啦，同埋分离定律。而引申出嚟可以考我哋嘅就係画下遗传图啦。下次可能问下你㗎。咁阿爸阿妈生到 Roger 啦，你可唔可以用一个遗传图去表现出嚟呢？而当中佢哋嘅表现型同埋基因型又如何呢？又或者再问下你啦 ，Roger 呢就娶咗个老婆，佢个老婆呢就係 A B 型血嘅。啊，咁究竟佢哋生到出嚟嘅小朋友，佢哋嘅表现型同埋基因型又如何啊？除咗话 Roger 娶咗个老婆之外，咁而家有个小朋友声称就係 Roger 个仔啦。咁我哋根據血型又可唔可以做到個判斷，做到一個親子鑑定嘅化驗呢？之後呢，我哋就講身體防衞嘅機制啦。我哋有抗原有抗體，佢哋分別係細胞膜上面嘅蛋白同埋一個 Y 型嘅蛋白質，佢哋之間就會有一個互動，成為一個抗原抗體複合物。咁呢一個身體防衞機制，大家都係要識嘅。而抗體有咩嘅功能呢？啱啱嗰张 slide 都讲咗，我哋之前都拍咗一段 shorts 咧，去讲下抗体嘅，咁亦都讲埋抗体同埋抗生素嘅分别啦，系咪？而我哋都会发现啦，无论系血型啦，同埋細胞膜嘅蛋白啦，过往都出咗好多条 MC。如果大家想清 concept 嘅话，快啲睇返呢啲 MC 啦。Two one five question four is about blood group. Roger is found to be suitable for donating blood to the recipient with blood types different from his own. However, he cannot receive a blood transfusion from his parents, and the blood group of his father and mother are A and B respectively. So for part A, what is Roger's blood group? So for this question, is checking the concept about the compatible blood group for blood donation. Let's have a quick revision about the blood group. So for the blood group A, B, A, B, and O. So how can we determine the blood group? It depends on the antigen on the rabbit cell. For the blood group A, the rabbit cell they have the antigen A on the surface. For the blood group B, there are antigen B on the rabbit cell surface. And for the blood group A B, there are antigen A and antigen B on the rabbit cell surface. And for the blood group O, there is no antigen on the rabbit cell surface. So we know that Roger is a universal donor. Therefore, there is no any antigen present on the cell membrane of the rabbit cells. How can we understand the concept of compatible blood group? For blood group O, there is no antigen on the rabbit cell surface, so that's why it will not stimulate. So that's why there is no interaction between the antigen and the anti B antibody and anti A antibody. So that's why the blood group of Roger is blood group O. 
And for part B, it's about the basic genetics question. So there are three symbols representing the allele. Capital letter I with A, it represents the allele for producing antigen A on the surface of the rubber cells. And for capital letter I with B, it represents the allele for producing antigen B on the surface of rubber cells. And for small i, it represents the allele that does not lead to the production of any antigens on the surface of rubber cells. So for part 1 and 2, we need to use the symbols to state Roger's genotype and state the genotypes of his parents. First of all, we need to recall the concept of multiple alleles and co-dominant. The idea is that the genes with more than two alternate forms are said to have multiple alleles. You can see that there are three alleles, big I with A, big I with B, and small i. So it is a multiple allele example. And for the co-dominant, alleles big I with A and big I with B are equally dominant. The allele small i is recessive to these two alleles. You can check from the table. For the blood group O, it must be the homozygous recessive, small, small i. So for the answer, you just need to write down small, small i because the question asks you to using the symbol. It doesn't just ask you the word to describe the genotype. So that's why just small, small i is okay. And for part two, we need to recall the second concept. It's about the Mendel's first law, law of segregation. It means that during gamete formation, alleles of a pair separate so that each gamete receives only one allele from the pair. You can see that this small i allele, one must come from father and the other one must come from mother. So that's why both of them must be heterozygous. And what about the other allele? We need to refer to father's and mother's blood group. Father is of blood group A. So that's why the genotype must be big I with A and small i. And mother is of blood group B. So that's why mother's genotype will be I and B and small i. So both of them are the heterozygous. As I mentioned, the word heterozygous, I just want to remind you, you just need to use the big I, letter A with small i as the answer to represent the genotype is okay. And then for part C, we need to explain why Roger cannot receive blood transfusion from his parents. So from part A, B, we have such concept. Roger is a universal donor. There are no any antigen present on the cell membrane of the rubber cells. But it's just a way to explain that why Roger is universal donor. It doesn't explain that why he cannot receive the blood transfusion from his parents. So that's why we need to recall the antibody in the plasma. There are anti-A antibody and anti-B antibody in his plasma. What does it mean? The anti-A antibody, it means that it will act against the antigen A. And for anti-B antibody, it will act against the antigen B. So we need to recall the antibody action against the antigen. So in the book, it's talking about how do antibodies act against the pathogens or the toxin. So there are three simple methods. Lysis, agglutination, and neutralizing the toxin. However, we need to think about do we need to use this free method to explain for this situation? Of course, no. We need to focus on the blood group, the antigen and the antibody. They are not the pathogens. Anti-A antibody and anti-B antibody are already present in Roger's blood. And this antibody will act against the antigen of antigen A and antigen B on the parent's rubber cells. It may cause lysis of the rubber cell, so it's equivalent to the lysis of the pathogen. The antibody will bind to the antigen, and after a series of chemical reaction, and the membrane of the rubber cell will be broken down, and the hemoglobin will leak out. It is the hemolysis. It seems like that even there is blood transfusion from his parents to Roger. There is nothing benefit to Roger. And the worst case is the crumping of the blood cells. Crumping, it seems like that the agglutination of the antigen, of the pathogens. But of course, this time it's talking about the blood cells. So it means that all the blood cells, they will crumb together. 
Therefore, it will need to the blockage of the blood vessels. And I would like to clarify three concepts. First of all, incompatible blood group transcription needs to antigen-antibody interaction, which is the specific immune response. However, the incompatible blood group transcription will not need to the production of memory cells, like the primary immune response, because there are already antigen A antibody and antigen B antibody in the plasma. It is not the first time for us to produce these antibodies. And for the third concept, crumping of the rapid cell is not blood clotting. Blood clotting is a non-specific immune response. So for the blood clotting, it involves the conversion of the soluble protein fibrinogen in plasma into a net of the insoluble fibrin. Then the blood platelets, red blood cell and red blood cell are trapped in the net. So there is a blood clot formed. So it's different from the crumping of the red blood cell uh, due to the interaction between the antibody and antigen. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question starts from the blood group. And there are two topics we study. One is the basic genetics and the other one is body defense mechanism. It is related to the blood transfusion. So for the basic genetics, this question asks you about the multiple allele, co-dominance, and the law of segregation. Any possible question variation? This time, it doesn't ask you to draw the genetic diagram, but maybe next time it asks you. So for example, Roger is married with a lady of blood group AB. So what will be the possible phenotype and genotype? So what will be the blood group of their offspring. Can you talk about the phenotype and the genotype of their blood group? So you can find some MC for the blood group and offspring questions. Or we can combine the paternity test with the blood transfusion. For example, a boy of blood group B is claimed that is the son of Roger. So is it possible for Roger to have a blood group B son? And for the body defense mechanism, we need to mention the antibody and antigen. Both of them are the proteins. Antigen are the membrane protein. And antibody are the Y-shaped protein. And both of them, they can combine to form the antigen-antibody complex. There are different MC questions about the membrane protein. So it's a way for you to clarify the concepts.